Okay, got another video here. The sinister logic behind nice guy syndrome explained by psychologists. Ha 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 ha. Oh, yes. That's me. Although if you are genuine, if you general, genuinely are nice, there are ways out of the friend zone. Men who complain they are unlucky and love despite their nice guy persona may have a sinister agenda. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, you ever watch these crime shows like uh, I Almost Got Away With It? These people kill people, rob banks, beat up people, and they they flee to another town in two seconds they got a girlfriend. The so-called nice guy, the often physically unattractive man. So there are no attractive men that are nice. That's not true. Who uh, overcompensates with clingy and over-the-top behavior to women? Well, women want attention, don't they? Is relentlessly mocked online. Let's see what else it says. I haven't really read it all, but... Uh, I know where it's going. The men who tend to get stuck in the friend zone might not be attractive enough on their own, physically, socially, or otherwise, and so try to so try to compensate for the shortcomings by investing women more than their peers. In other words, they might use kindness to try and make up for what they lack elsewhere. What is that supposed to mean? What's wrong with being nice? When I was a little kid, I couldn't wait to get a girlfriend. I mean early grade school, mid-grade school. Now, I always thought, well, if I, as long as I'm nice, polite, and considerate, it shouldn't be a problem. Well, it has been a problem, I don't know why. Uh, if you meet someone's needs without having them ask, they should meet yours, ergo. I don't know what ergo is. If a man is nice to a woman, she should repay him by, by becoming his girlfriend, because that's obviously how these things work. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, others typically do not realize these contracts exist and are often surprised when a nice guy lashes out at their failure to keep their end of the deal. You think getting friend zoned is bad? Imagine your creepy male friend thinking that you owe them sex. It's not all about sex. Hmm. Examples of nice guy behavior include performing kind gestures with the sole motive of seducing a woman. How do they know what our motives are? Can't be nice? Insisting the reason they're rejected is women like bad boys. Well, if you're saying that nice guys are not feasible, what other kind of guy is there? A bad guy. Or a not so nice guy. Believing showing basic human decency and manners makes them especially nice. Complaining about the difference between what women can complain, claim to want in a man and the man men they actually go for. <laughs> That's true. And when things don't go the way, they often complain that they've been friend zone despite the target of their affections never being interested in the first place. I'm not going to read out. It's a stupid little conversation there. It makes no sense to me. So it shows some passive-aggressive guy walking into a store, abandoning a job, and he never filled out an application. I, I don't know why it's in there. It's stupid when girls say they can't find a guy, yet they ignore me. It's like saying you're hungry when there's a hot dog on the ground outside. Of course, there are also plenty of genuinely nice guys and girls who don't have a sinister side to their kindness and find themselves in the dreaded friend zone. Hmm, imagine that. Although being nice may not get you what you want in the short term, it could pay off after all because people will want your help further down the line. <laughs> Ask your uh, bad boy boyfriend to help you. Uh, whilst it may be the object of your affections is only interested in friendship, Dr. Blah 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 believes that if you find yourself feeling resentful about being in the friend zone, you need to change yourself to increase your chances of getting out. Like what? Rob a bank? 
oh, this stuff just gets my blood boiling. Which is good, because I was going to take a nap. I don't feel like taking a nap now. First, make yourself more attractive to the person you like. Hmm. Go to the gym. Groom yourself more. Get a good job. Increase your social status. Social status. That's all. Uh-huh. No one wants to go down a notch. Generally do more of the things that per that person finds attractive. Like robbing a bank. When you bring more to the table yourself, your options improve. Like what? A stack of $100 bills you stole? If changing your lifestyle is too much time and energy, there's another option. Alternatively, make your intentions clear from the start. And if they aren't returns, don't wait anyway around. Hey, want to go for a roll in the hay? Oh, I just want to be nice. I don't want any more of it. Relationships and feelings develop over time. It's not instant. If it's instant, it's all it's all sexual energy or something, you know. Baloney. He says you can avoid the friend zone by avoiding the friendships altogether. One reason nice guys will stick around is because the less nice ones won't tolerate their desires not being returned and settling for less than they want. So being nice, right there, it's a being nice is less than they want. They want a bank robber, drug addict. Here's the one where I work. There is a female employee, been there for at least 10, 10 to 15 years, like from my understanding. People seem to disagree, but at least 10 years. An excellent employee, very nice uh, lady. Very nice. Well, she found herself single, got a new boyfriend, and she helped her boyfriend buy a new truck, brand new truck. And within a week, it was all dinged up and smashed up and all kinds of stuff, and he was in the meth. And he and she was off of work for a shoulder injury, and during that time, he got her in the meth. She came off the injury and failed a drug test and fired for meth. But, you know, why would you want a nice guy? Of course, it's unheard of for a person to develop romantic... Not unheard of for a person to develop romantic feelings for a friend when you get on when you get on well already. Huh? Sometimes all it takes is time or possibly alcohol. Alcohol. So now you got to drink too. And where do you drink? At a bar or outside. Then you got to drive. Yes. Drunk driving. That's a turn on. After all, don't rom coms teach us? I don't know what that is. That the one is usually the one who is there all along. I don't know if there's any more. No, that's it. This stuff makes me sick. I've been that way my whole life. You know, I've had. Uh, I've had women that I hung around with that were married or, or taken and I spent more time with them than they did with their boyfriend. They just go home to screw and that's it. You know. I don't know. I think that's all crap in this video uh, except for a couple things but might not be attractive enough on their own. Well, I'll give her about 20 shots of booze and it'll be attractive enough, right? If the women are better looking at closing time, so are the men. I'm very... I've grown to be very, uh... not very fond of women anymore in my life, mostly because of this crap. Really. I mean, if they're married, they're already taken... Oh, yeah, sure, then they're nice. But the second they're single, they won't come near you. Even, oh, my God. Of course, I'm overweight, so that's an automatic loser. I'm an automatic loser. You know. Okay, tell me what you think. Discuss. Make a muss. Make a fuss. Like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Till then, I'll see you from the Buddy Bud channel.